celebrating that point because they get out and they start hitting transition threes, it could be a, a difficult game for us. Hey, what's the next step for this team? What do, what do you guys focus on to, to make your next just getting back on, on defense, transition defense, like I said, kind of celebrating points. And I mean, I do it too. You hit a three or something, you want to do something, get the crowd involved, but just hit a shot, get back, sprint back, um, and then just communicate through everything. Every once in a while we get caught up on screens or we get caught up in, in a switch and we like, one guy didn't talk through it. So I think something like, just stuff like that. Um, but other than that, I think we're, we're in a pretty good spot right now. January, we have plenty of room to improve and a lot of time to do it. Did you guys do that in the Georgia game, kind of get caught watching the back? Dylan said that on TV, you guys were really watching the ball and just watching the play and not playing but within the system. Uh, I think, especially for um, like help side, like the back side defense, uh, I got caught doing it too where I should have been two feet in the paint and I was two steps outside the paint or I was a foot outside the paint and I, it was my rotation to go and try to contest a shot. Um, I think that's just one thing that uh, you get caught up in the game where you're you're so worried about your guy, and at least for me, like, I was so worried about letting a three get off um, that I was kind of hugging my guy a little bit, and I should have been over. But I got to trust help side defense, and that's just one thing that uh, I know I'm working on, and I know that Emmanuel's been talking to me about. Is just you got to trust it. Like I got to go help, and then he drops down, and then we rotate out uh, and just play basketball as a team. seem always so critical in yourself. Mm -hmm. Is that just the basketball thing, or, or are you that way in all different aspects of your life? Uh, I'd probably say I'm, I'm like that in all aspects of my life. Uh, it's definitely a basketball thing, though. It, I always find something that I can fix and I can improve, and um, I try to talk about it so that I can go and do it, because if I just sit there and think about it, I might not go and do it. So if I put it out there for myself and I write it down and I say it out loud, then I have to go and do it and get better. So that's just kind of how I am. So it's kind of like a motivational tool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Where did you learn that from? Is that something you picked up from parents or family? Or? Uh, definitely my parents. Um, I'd probably say my brothers too. Just that's how my, my brother is um, within his career. He's always about getting better and, and being a better leader. And he has all sorts of different obstacles with younger guys that are enlisted in the Marines that come out and they're kind of hitting him with all sorts of different things. So for him, he has to kind of be well-rounded enough to understand everybody's different situations and kind of be a good leader in all those situations. And I'm just kind of the same way. I want to hear you so say something good about yourself. What's something good about, oh uh, man, uh, I would say I'm just a, a big time hustle guy, diving on the floor, trying to get a stop, helping my teammates up, um, sprinting in transition. Like even if I don't get the bucket and I sprint up and I open up the lane for somebody else, like that's technically my bucket too. And I, I, I know that and I can move forward and I can be happy doing that even if I don't score. Like if I sprint the floor and it's a two on one and Ashton goes and lays it up and the guy thought that he was gonna throw it to me, like. I know that I got Ashton that bucket. So it's a de definitely a hustle guy.